Hi, uh, my name is Tim, and in today's video, we're going to talk about using the Parks Own line of ultra micro radio control electronics to power and control your own design for indoor radio control model aircraft. Many of us are familiar with uh, eFlight's line of uh, indoor radio control flyers. Uh, this is their extra 3D uh, from Horizon Hobby. And what Horizon has done as part of these kit lines is to develop the line of ultra micro radio control electronics. This is the receiver, electronic speed control, and servos. Uh, this is a four channel design, so there are separate aileron servos um, on the wing, a geared electric motor, and of course the connections to the tail surface. It's a fairly simple matter to take this hardware from a airplane you're no longer flying or you can order new hardware information at the end of the video how to do that then adapt this to your own design radio control model aircraft. This is an example of the Park Zone Ultra Micro 3 channel um, uh, ESC brick. On this brick you have the two servos, elevator and rudder, the little electric motors and a linear output that goes back and forth to control the rudder and elevator. The receiver is on this uh, green brick, as well as a built-in electronic speed control. The electric motor plugs in here, and it's a fairly easy matter to adapt this mounting to your indoor radio control design. The propeller just screws onto the prop shaft there. This is the antenna for the 2.4 gigahertz system, as well as a battery connector. These batteries are quite common. They're 3.7 volt, 160 milliamp, um, 1S LiPos, uh, very safe, very easy to use, recharge. And what we do to operate the system is I use the Spectrum D6i. You need to make sure your transmitter is compatible with the Park Zone lines. The Spectrums are. You turn on your transmitter, make sure the correct model is selected. There's 10 models in memory uh, that is correctly bound up. Throttle low, the battery, the polarity is important. Notice a little V-shaped plastic device there that is the bottom. And you take the battery and simply plug it in. The steady light means that it's synced up. And what we can do is elevator, rudder, as well as throttle over here. Those are all your controls and it's as simple as that. Anything needed through the radio to reverse the uh, throw, dual rates, is all controlled by your transmitter, very easy to adapt for this system. We'll go through the video some further examples of how we mount this on designs. I use double-sided sticky tape, design considerations that the battery is close enough in your design to connect in, the motor is not too far away. And with that, we'll go through some examples of aircraft that I've designed that you can use as examples for your own design indoor radio control model aircraft using this very uh, capable radio control system uh, from Park Zone. When designing your own radio control models, it's always good to watch and learn from the examples of others. Uh, with E-Flight's uh, Extra 300D, we can see that they took the Park Zone electronics, mounted it directly to the side of the fuselage with double-sided sticky tape, and you get an initial idea of the distances between the motor and the electronic speed control. This is a view of the underside of the 300D. Uh, the two uh, micro aileron servos are mounted directly to the underside of the wing with double-sided sticky tape. Again, keep in mind the distance between the servos to the receiver for line length. This is the electronics for the uh, ultra micro uh, radio control system. Uh, the green electronic speed control brick on lower left has the two linear servos. Uh, the uh, receiver and electronic speed control all built in. The motor plugs in directly. The antenna at upper left, the short copper wire, as well as at the upper right, the connection for the battery. You'll need a transmitter that is compatible with the ultra micro system. Horizon Hobby makes both the Spectrum as well as the Ultra Micro Park Zone systems. You just have to check with the transmitter's manufacturer that it can be successfully used with the Park Zone equipment. I've had great luck with the Spectrum series of transmitters. This is the transmitter working, very positive, quick response for the linear servos. This is information on exactly what you need to order to get the electronics. Uh, you can see the propeller, the Ultra Micro motor and gearbox, 
the ultra micro three channel receiver electronic speed control servo combination as well as the 160 milliamp lipo battery supplies vary you'll have to check around horizon hobby is always a good start for the electronics uh, stevens arrow makes some kits dedicated for the ultra micro equipment uh, they also supply the electronics i've had very good luck with them and a search on ebay or google for the electronics or repair capability the Fokker Spin was one of my most recent designs for the um, Ultra Micro Series um, radio control equipment. The Spin is an interesting uh, design, uh, so I decided to do a prototype just to see how it would work out for a radio control model. Uh, note the swept wing, the all moving rudder. Now for the prototype, just to keep things simple, I mounted all the electronics on the top of the fuselage as far forward as possible to help maintain the forward center gravity just uh, for ease of adjustment and installation. This is the Spins fuselage under construction, just a normal frame. As you design or modify aircraft, you'll have to think of things ahead to accommodate the radio control electronics. In this case, the width of the fuselage is important. I needed about one and a half inches width on the fuselage to install the um, electronic speed control brick in the system. This is a top view of the uh, spins fuselage. You can see the uh, installation of the motor. Uh, right behind it is a LiPo battery. And then behind that is the electronic speed control. And again, you gotta make sure the speed control is close enough to the motor that it can plug in. You can see from behind, there's not a lot of length on the wires for that. Another view of the prototype spin nose. You can see the installation of the uh, balsa wood to keep the motor in place. Notice the little tray section that I built underneath the motor to put in weight if needed to achieve the center gravity. I did have to add some nose weight for the prototype. The battery mounted on Velcro right behind the motor and the electronic speed control behind that. On the final version of the spin, just for appearance's sake, I decided to take the electronics and the battery and mount it underneath the fuselage. You can see that it's a little bit more difficult to adjust here. That's why it's much easier in the prototype to have it up top, but everything was in the same location fore and aft. Uh, note the Velcro by my thumb for the LiPo battery, and it worked out fine for the final version of the spin. The spin is probably the heaviest model that I've uh, built, 28-inch uh, wingspan, 2.8 ounces. Uh, plans are available for the spin on the website. Uh, very easy to build model and it flies very well. Steven Zero designed some uh, very nice kits expressly for the Ultra Micro radio control system. Uh, this is their de Havilland DH-53 Hummingbird uh, radio control kit. Uh, just a very easy to build kit that came out very well. This is a view of the underside of the Hummingbird. You can see the uh, Ultra Micro electronics are mounted with double-sided tape uh, to a tray uh, in, inside the fuselage. Uh, in front of the landing gear, the white Velcro uh, patch used for the installation of the battery. Again, the battery is far forward as possible to keep a forward center gravity for this model. One very good design thing uh, that Steve Zero did for the electronic speed control, you can see the little strip of wood, 1 32nd inch plywood glued in place. This helps keep the brick firmly in place because when the model is at its normal stance, the brick is upside down. You want no movement of the electronics. The system provides plenty of power for this model. You can see it just takes off in no, no time at all and uh, very pleasant flying aircraft. Another line in the um, Stevens Aero kits specifically for these ultra micro uh, systems is the Pete and Paul Air Camper, a popular home built design from the 1930s. The design of the Pete and Paul uses the uh, uh, micro electronics, uh, again mounted upside down in the fuselage. Uh, the difference of the Hummingbird, the battery is mounted right next to the electronics uh, for the Air Camper. The high wing design of the Air Camper makes for a very stable flyer, uh, plenty of control authority, and just a very pleasant, uh, easy to fly model for indoor flight. The Park Zone electronics are also ideal to convert existing free flight uh, model airplane kits or plans. Uh, this is the Guilo Lancer. Guilo has a wide range of uh, free flight uh, balsa model aircraft. I picked the Lancer just because it looked like a nice stable design uh, with a polyhedral in the wing, also a good long nose moment uh, to achieve the correct center of gravity. This is the installation of the conversion of the free flight Lancer to the radio control version. Uh, the motor, uh, plenty of room there in the nose. 
Note that the Lancer has a fairly narrow fuselage. It was not wide enough for the electronic speed control. So what I had to do was make an adaptation and mount the ESC brick to the side of the fuselage with double-sided sticky tape. Now this worked out just fine. There were good straight control runs to the control surfaces, but just an example of how you have to uh, make adaptations as you convert various kits to radar control flight. This is an underview of the Lancer uh, with plastic iron on covering. You can see the electronic speed control mounted to the side and then the Velcro battery patch uh, further back to achieve the proper center of gravity location. And the Lancer flew uh, very well. An example of using the four channel ultra micro system is my design of the Robin uh, aircraft, the prototype fuselage blue above and the final version in red. CAD plans are available on the website. This is a view of the nose section of the prototype. You can see the 1 16th inch plywood tabs keep the motor in place. The electronic speed control with double sided sticky tape mounted to the side of the fuselage. And uh, behind on top of the wing are the aileron servos again with double sided sticky tape. This is the final version of the Robin. Uh, see there's some details added like a cockpit and canopy and a more uh, finished nose section. The electronic speed control is still mounted uh, to the side with double sided sticky tape. On the other side of the fuselage is Velcro for the LiPo battery and the two aileron servos are mounted underneath the wing just for appearances uh, sake. Polarity is very important when plugging in the battery. If you plug in the battery backwards you will uh, short circuit the system. Um, there's plenty of control uh, throw from the ultra micro radio from the elevator and rudder. Uh, and ailerons, again, more than enough control throw for these smaller rate of control model aircraft. One of my first designs for the park zone equipment is the Finch. Uh, the Finch has a free set of full-size CAD, CAD plans available on the website. You can download them, available in Microsoft Word format, a 20-inch wingspan, and just a uh, chance to figure out what would be the proper airfoils, wing placement, incident settings for this equipment. This is the Finch uh, under construction with the um, engine uh, mounted just in a simple cutout to the 1 16th inch balsa uh, nose section. The uh, ply uh, tray and back for the electronic speed control. Again, note that you have to have the ESC close enough to the engine to be able to plug in the motor. You can see the tail control surfaces in place. The final uh, version of the spin of the Finch is f shown here uh, using 1 32nd inch balsa cowl uh, just to improve the appearance a little bit. Again, free plans are available on the website. The 20 inch wingspan and weight of under 2 ounces, the Finch has, uh, has plenty of power with its electronic speed control the motor and uh, handles really quite well. So in summary, this is a picture of the ultra micro electronic uh, radio control components, uh, the uh, brick with the two servos, electronic speed control, and 2.4 gigahertz receiver. Uh, the engine plugs right into the um, uh, brick itself, very convenient. And then the battery leads for the uh, very small, easy to use and recharge LiPo batteries.